Hello guys. So yesterday I went to Target. Um, yesterday was Sunday. They had a sale going on, so I just wanted to go and see what actually was on sale because you know sometimes they put out the sales flyer and um, everything that's on sale is not in the flyer. So um, we went to we went to Target around maybe like four o'clock yesterday <coughs> and. I found these things. <clears throat> I got this shirt. You can see that. This is like a V-neck shirt with kind of like a little grouping right here. And sleeveless. Oh man, I think I picked up the wrong size. I may have picked up the wrong size. I thought I picked up a medium, but oh well. <clears throat> so this was um, regular price was eight dollars, and I got it for four. They had like a huge clearance section in there, from like behind the snack bar all the way to the back of the store where the dressing rooms are at. Um, and I just kind of took my time looking through the stuff. Um, I did also get this, and it's not in my bag because, of course, I had to set it up last night. But I got this. Let's see if I can close it up. Okay. I got this cordless house phone. Um, this was $19.99. They had all different kind of colors, blue, red, pink, black, um, I think orange, maybe a light blue, a silver, and some other colors. But I thought I had, um, I thought they had the ad listed in the sales paper, but it's not, so I'm going to show it to you. But they had double packs of, um, these phones. It came with, um, a phone like this, and then a phone that had a bigger base with the, um, call ID, not call ID, but, um, voicemail system on it and um that was thirty seven ninety nine but they didn't have pink and I wanted pink so um I chose to get the single phone and then I'll go back later and get the other one. You can add up to you can add a you can have a total of five phones so I can add four more phones to my house without having to plug them in. And uh this is the phone right here. I actually had already set it up. I haven't taken the plastic part off. I have a, you can say a pet peeve about it. I don't like to take the plastic off the phones until it's ready to come off. I don't know why. But it's a pretty slim phone. Pretty easy. Hello. Let's see. <laughs> pretty easy to um, hold while, you know, you're doing something else. And then, let me see if I can reach the base over here. There it is. This is the base part to it. It just sits just like this. And this goes in just like that. <laughs> um, probably wondering why I got a house phone because house phones are kind of like safe, spaced out by now. But um, my cell phone service um, has been dropping calls for like two weeks now, <clears throat> and I went and talked to them, and they were saying like they were working on the tower, so that's why the calls were dropping. But I got really frustrated with it because I wasn't able to make like everyday phone calls. I had to call around. First, I had, I was about to start school. So I had to call the IRS and get some papers sent to my school. And trying to call the IRS, I ended up calling them like, I want to say when I went back through my phone call and like added up all of the um, times that the that they, I had called, because you know, like if you call in, um, a certain amount of times, it'll start keeping a track, keeping a tally of the calls that you're making on the side. So I went back to my phone and I looked and I called the IRS over 40 times that day and it had dropped every single call. So then I started calling the um, company that I have internet through trying to get a phone line set up and I called them like over 40 times and it dropped every call. So I wasn't able to actually set up phone service until I got in a car and drove to my husband's job which is like 10 minutes away. When I went to talk to them they were like oh we're just um, working on the cell towers it'll be fine. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, um, I don't think it's fine. Um, 
I will be calling them to see about getting a discount on my bill or either change their services all together because I don't have, I usually don't have a signal in my house at all, which is not good. And my husband's internet is not working on his phone, which is, for him, is not good because he's a world star hip hop junkie. Okay, so this is the other thing I got from Target. <coughs> Excuse me. It's these. Let me see. There you go. Sharpie pins. And I got one in magenta, pink, blue. Let's see. Blue. And black. I'm kind of like a pen junkie. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I'm going to try that. They were $1.50 a piece. I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's a bad price, but they were $1.50 a piece. And they're like uh, fine point felt tip pens, if you can see it. Fine point felt tip pens. And I kind of wrote a little bit of stuff down to see how they write. And I, I like them. I don't have anything bad to say about them. Let me see what I can do for you. I'm going to write with each color. <clears throat> and you can see how they write. Kind of goofy. You see that? You have to excuse me. I'm not really good at guiding stuff directly into my camera. Okay. And those are the Sharpie pens. So I also got this. It is the Sharpie marker, but it's a neon marker. If you haven't noticed by now, I am a big fan of pink. So this is a Sharpie Neon Pink, and it says like when you write with it, it's supposed to glow under a black light. I don't have a black light. I don't know where to get a black light from. But I think it'll look really, really bright and bold if you want to write with it. So let me try to get this paper off and show you what it looks like when you write. Of course, it's not going to cooperate with me. But I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart probably like two, I want to say two or three weeks ago. And they had all their back to school stuff out and everything. So I saw these, um, I saw these markers. They had the, like a whole display set up for the neon colored markers and I told my husband I was like I want to get those I want to get them he's like you should wait you should wait so they were 70 78 cents at Walmart and then by the time I went back when I went back three weeks ago I only found the well the shelf was empty but then I started looking around through could you not know people put stuff back so I started looking around and hoping to find something I did find the neon blue and the neon green one I believe it was so I got those, and I just got a regular pink one. Um, I had got a regular pink one. So um, I went on to Target, and I saw this one. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I finally found it. But it wasn't 78 cents. It was $1.50. <clears throat> All right. And this is what it looks like when you write with it. I think it's kind of like a... Really bright pink, I guess. I don't know where to get a black light from to to um see how it glows or whatever. Um, but that's about it. That's all I got from Target. I spent like thirty thirty one dollars in Target, I believe it was, which was more than I wanted to spend. But I was happy because I finally got the house phone because we had these phones. Let me see if I can show you these. We had these phones, and we had we got these maybe three years ago when we were in Korea, and my daughter's whining. 
Because that is three years ago when we were in Korea. And we got back to the States maybe two years. Well, it's almost two. So maybe we got them five years ago. Wow. Five years ago when we were in Korea. And then we stayed in Korea for three years. And then we got back here. We've been here almost two years. So um, they've been unplugged the whole time that we've been here. They've been unplugged. So I just plugged them back up. And so far, only one has charged, if you can see that. Only one has charged up to the point where you might be able to use it. But I was tired of waiting for them to charge. And then they were on the charger for like three days, I believe. And it wasn't going anywhere. Every time you, you would see like a display up there and it would, um, the minute you pick it up off the base, it would go away. <clears throat> so um, I decided I was going to go look for a battery. Now the battery that I found, I've only found it online. And it's like $14.99. So I wasn't going to pay that much money. When I could pay, what, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, five more dollars and I can get um, a brand new, up to date, cordless house phone. So that's what I did. And I'm kind of happy I did do it because I love pink and I'm glad I got pink this time. <clears throat> well, um, that's about it for right now. I, uh, oh, like I said, I did spend like 30 some dollars in there, but it was worth it. Alright, bye-bye. Until next time.